first tonight, a man accused of murdering three police officers and a police canine in Floyd County has died in prison. Lance Stores was being held at the Pike County Detention Center. Officials say this was a suicide. Deputy William Petrie with the Floyd County Sheriff's Department, Captain Ralph Frazier with the Prestonsburg Police Department, and the Prestonsburg Police Officer Jacob Chaffins were all killed during an ambush-style shooting last June. News Channel 3's Marley Pinchock is in Floyd County and joins us now with the very latest on this story. Hey, Marley. Good evening, Tim. Ever since those deadly shots rang out in Allen, Kentucky, where we're standing out right now, Lance Storrs has been sitting in jail for several months. And during that time, family of the fallen, also family of the officers who were injured, counting down the days until they could come face to face with Storrs. However, as of this morning, we have learned from the Floyd County Sheriff John Hunt that Lance Storrs has died by suicide in his jail cell. Now in a statement, Floyd County Attorney Keith Bartley says it's a cowardly way out by a coward in every sense of the word. Now flashback to June of last year, Lance Storrs accused of killing three officers and a police canine, injuring four others, all during an ambush style shooting along Main Street near the intersection of Railroad Street in Allen. Days leading up to the shooting, Storrs was accused of holding a woman hostage. Law enforcement was attempting to serve an emergency emergency protection order and arrest stores for fourth degree physical assault. But that's when the first fatal shots rang out. The scene described as a war zone. You can imagine how long families have waited for justice to be served. However, now that opportunity won't happen. Take a listen. Having a coward like that take the easy way out is not the, it's not what I wanted. It's not what anybody else wanted, but that's what we got. You know, so it's, you take the, the, the shooting to this, you know, there, there's no, yeah, you can say it's over now, but, you know, it's not going to be over for everybody else. It's over for him, you know, but, it, but it's not over for me. It's not over for the other families that they never got to say what they wanted to say. So now we're just stuck here, just holding our words. No reason, no rhyme to, to what occurred or what was going through his mind at that time. And I guess there was some answers that the, the families and, and friends, we were all looking forward and that's, Unfortunately, something we're not going to be able to receive now. Now, Storrs was facing murder charges while he was in jail. And Tim and Sarah, um, you know, as of now, there are still more questions than answers when it comes to the circumstances surrounding that suicide. However, we will keep up to date and keep tabs right. on that information when it's released. Okay. Hey, thanks, Marlene. In a situation like this, it obviously is just the very beginning of what will be a lengthy investigation.